Hello cookbook friends! Welcome to the Cookbook Divas YouTube channel where we review cookbooks. My name is Carrie and today I want to look through Bowls and Broths with you by Pippa Middlehurst. Build a bowl of flavor from scratch with dumplings, noodles, and more. It's from the author of Dumplings and Noodles. It's a vibrant collection of broth-based recipes that will teach you how to layer, season, and create versatile and exciting dishes from scratch. Pippa Middlehurst, aka Pippi Eats, or at Pippi Eats, tells the story of building a bowl from the bottom up with seasoning and sauces, crunchy bits and aromatics, fresh herbs and toppings, and other, oh, offers accessible recipes that use these building blocks to maximize the power of ingredients, texture, and flavor. From ramen to rice bowls and everything in between, with chapters on dumplings, noodles, hot pots to share, rice, and even sweet things. All right, let's check it out. The publisher is Hardy Grant, one of our favorite cookbook publishers. This came out in 2021. Starts off with a great photo. So far, so good. And I can't show you the whole cookbook, so I'm just going to go through a few things here and there of interest. But let's check out the table of contents. Noodles, hot pot, dumplings, rice, and sweets. It doesn't get easier than that. Here's the introduction. I'll read it later. There's the author. The science of broth. Very important. As I admit, my noodles are kind of under-flavored and under-seasoned. So I will learn better habits from this. Getting started, equipment, ingredients, pantry, etc. Lots of oils. Ooh, yum. Rice wine. The building blocks. Roasted chili powder. Mala paste. I've never heard of that. Roasted onion broth. Ramen eggs. Master stock. Chicken broth. All right. I love how colorful the chapter uh, dividers are. Noodles. Ba me and look at the step-by-step -step photos. That helps me so much when I'm trying to make something new that I've never made or seen made in person. Whole grain Sukemen noodles is the tea silent. I've never heard that word pronounced. Sorry. Step-by-step -step photos. This is awesome. Hand pulled noodles. And udon. Normally I just buy my udon noodles and make them. Here she's making them from scratch. That's a lot of work. Wow. Ramen. Making the ramen noodles from scratch. Wow. I'm going to need some practice. I'm going to have to try. Here's biang biang. I hope I said that right. I've never heard of that kind of noodle. Oh, lots of stretching. She's like, whoa. This is cool. All right. First recipe of the book. Roast duck chintin ramen. And here's a mala duck to sukemen. Don't know how to say that. Sorry. Duck offal biang biang. There's a lot of unfamiliar terms. Can you imagine how much Googling I'm going to be doing after I turn off the camera today? Thai beef short rib noodles. Roasted broccoli drunkard's noodles. Tom yam noodle soup. Spicy chicken and crab. Tonkatsu tsukumen. I don't know that word. If I had looked through this cookbook before I got in camera, I would have looked that up. But I always like to look through the cookbook for the first time with you. Glass noodle clay pot with prawns. Tantonmen. Tantonmen. Looks good. Curry coconut chicken noodles. Yay, something I could pronounce. <laughs> Let's get to another part of the chapter. Ooh, kimchi and bacon udon. How about miso clay pot udon? I bet your mouths are watering right now, right? Quick spicy seafood ramen. Spicy mutton and tomato biang biang noodles. And now we're in hot pot. Ooh, gorgeous picture. Hot pot and dumplings. That was a quick chapter. <laughs> I kind of skipped through. Here's some step-by-step -step photos for how to make dumplings. Dumpling wrappers. I have made dumplings in several cooking classes, but then I never came home and made them because there's a dumpling restaurant really close to my house, so I just went and bought them. Beef dumplings in hot and sour broth. Oh, that broth sounds good. I might just make the broth. Prawn wontons with Thai basil. 
jalapeno beef dandan -dan dumplings. I like that they have a little different culture spice in here. Lamb and fennel dumplings with green sauce. Soy brown butter mushroom wontons and crispy enoki. Spicy prawn and pumpkin crystal dumplings. That's unusual. Wow, beautiful. Glazed bottom barbecue pork and black fungus dumplings. This is an unusual cookbook like I have never seen before, and I look through a lot of cookbooks, as you can tell by peeking at our YouTube channel. Beef and ginger dumplings and hot red oil. And now we're in the rice chapter. I do love rice. Here's chicken rice. And Tori Katsudon. Um, don't know how to say that. Here, miso chicken clay pot rice. Lou Ru Fan, which is made with oil, rice wine, honey, clove, garlic cloves, soy sauce, white pepper, water, crispy fried shallots, and pork belly. Aha! Vegetable tempura rice bowl. And we are getting into the quick little dessert chapter sweets. Sichuan pepper and orange ice cream wrap. Fried bao buns with milk tea caramel ice cream. That sounds amazing. And then I don't want to spoil the rest of the cookbook for you. All right, that was Bowls and Broths by Pippa Middlehurst. Love it. That's really awesome. I'm going to have to go look up a lot of the terms and the pronunciations of the words I've never heard before. And I'm probably going to go have to make a bowl of noodles because now I'm craving it. Thanks so much for watching our cookbook look through and review. You can see more of them at cookbookdivas.com and on our YouTube channel. We post cookbook news to Instagram and Facebook. Be sure to give us a like and a comment over there so that the social media algorithms will show you more of our posts if you're enjoying them. And we also have a cookbook podcast I'd love to invite you to listen to. Thanks for watching. Bye!